Today we have a very special guest in the Farm to Fork kitchen. I'm going to say kitchen royalty. Oh, I'm very excited because we have Angelie Patak here joining us. Angelie, granddaughter of the founder of Pataks. You're a chef, you have a cooking school, and you've written some cookbooks. I think you also know a lot about what's going on in these beautiful places <laughs> here. So we are in very good hands to cook a delicious dish. Now, Angelie, welcome and thank you for coming and joining us on Farm to Fork. What are we cooking today? So we're going to be making tikka lamb chops using oh, my right. favourite spice paste. Yes. And then we're having it with pistachio crumbs and a nice speedy lime yoghurt. Yeah, this is a good day. We're going to have a lot of fun. All right, well, should we jump in? Sure. Amazing. So in this bowl, we need to make our marinade. So yep. we're going to go in with a little bit of yogurt and then the most important bit, which is our spice paste. So this is a blend of a bunch of different spices. So I know you've been to India, so yes. you know about spices. I do, I do. So there's a lot of different spices that you can use to make up your blend. Yes. This one is expertly blended. Yes. We've had 60 years to perfect these babies. And so you have done it. Yeah, yeah, this is like the good <laughs> stuff. So we're going to go in with a couple of tablespoons of that. Beautiful. It's that easy to get that delicious tea masala yeah. flavor. Give that a really good mix up yeah. and then we'll go in with our chops nice. and that's going to be our marinade. Now you can do this with any meat, yep. any vegetable. I love it. So it's really, really easy to make up a marinade and ideally you want to be marinating overnight if yep. you have time, but obviously we don't stay, we're no. just going to get it get straight in, in the pan. Well there's so much flavour you don't need to do too long, but the, the longer the better, right? Yeah, correct. I, I love how easy your marinades are. <laughs> I mean I use them for things, not even Indian dishes, I'll use them for pies and sausage rolls and other dishes, they've sort of they've become just a part of my cooking and my right, pantry now, which is awesome. And I, I just love to pep up flavour, right? Exactly just to give right. a little bit of something. Yeah. No, it's delicious. So we'll go in with our chops into here. Awesome. Get those in. Look how juicy are those are. Oh, yeah, they're going to be that delicious. That little bit of fat's going to really help with that lovely yeah. marinade. And then we got to make sure we get that all Good over. Coating. Every little bit you want to have a bit of okay. flavour on. Beautiful. And this is going to taste a little bit like coriander, a little bit yep. like turmeric. Nice. Obviously, there's all the other different flavours to create, you know, like a blend. Yeah. We've got over 10 different spices in this spice base. So um, there's a lot of different stuff. And use this almost, like you say, as like a base for things. So yes. if you have a favourite flavour, do you have like a favourite spice? I, I love, well, my favourite's cumin, I think. Oh, is it? probably in a lot of your spice base. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you could add like extra cumin yes. to this if yeah, you wanted, nice. you know, make it your own, and that's yeah. what it's all about. It's like personalizing it. I think that's the nice thing about your spice paste, is it just gives people the, the ease to go and create their own curry. They can start with a, a perfect base and they can make it their own, which I think is yeah, the really lovely thing. It's sort of, you know, you set the standard in the recipe and then people do whatever they like with it. Yeah, totally, totally. So this is something we would have at like our family barbecues. Oh, so obviously Love I'm from that. England, so we can't yes. only really barbecue in the summer. Yes, right? a couple weeks a year. <laughs> yeah, exactly, if we're lucky. Yes. And so I grew up with like these smells, you know, oh, going nice. around barbecue. Yeah, a bit of also... charcoal as well. Oh, yeah, I Even love all of that. Nice, I love that. So this looks beautiful. The colour is stunning. That's that. It's beautiful. Taste. So that's perfect. Now we're ready for cooking. Okay, beautiful. So should I pop those on? Yeah, you go. Here we go. So I'll get this on. And in the meantime, if you want to get your whizzer out, we're going to be making up some pistachio crumbs. I love it. They're just so juicy. Good. As soon as that heat hits it, you get that smell, don't you? That, that beautiful aromat and the, the spices. Totally. So you're Excellent. going to cook that for a while, get, like really caramelise that marinade? Correct. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of minutes each side, depending on the thickness yes. that you have there's as well. a couple of whoppers in there too. <laughs> <laughs> and in here we're going to make our pistachio crust. I love it. So we've got our pistachios. Beautiful. All of those go all in. Right. And then let's go in with the lemon. Okay. And zest me the lemon. Yeah, beautiful. And while you're doing that, I'll just add a little bit awesome. of Awesome. Sugar. Sweet. A little bit of that. So this is a little crunchy element to the uh, to the dish, just a bit of extra texture. Yeah, correct. I Purely for texture. Nice. And pistachios really love lamb. You know, they're, Such they're a great really friendly. Friend, so. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And then give that a really nice good little whiz. Yeah. So we've seasoned it up nicely. Yeah. Made it just a little bit sweet. It's going to go really nicely with this. Perfect. Just fully blitzed or just chunky? No, chunky. Awesome. Leave it chunky, yeah. Keep it rustic. A bit more just to break up the last couple. Sure. Yeah. Let me grab my tongs so I get these guys to yeah. over. Now there for you. Thank you. And how does that look? Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. ready to come out. Love that. So you can scrape that out with a spatula because we're yep. going to use the wizard for something really cool and I think you're going to nice. love it. 
I already think this is cool, so <laughs> I'm learning new things already, which is the best. I love like nuts and meat. Actually, I think it goes really well. Just a little extra free texture in the, you know, the nutty creaminess. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. Right there. Beautiful. And then we're now going to make this really delicious mm -hmm. yogurt. Okay. So we've got yogurt going in, and yep. I'm going to really pep it up with lime pickle. Do you like lime pickle? I love lime pickle. Right. It's, uh, yeah. I've made, I've made the mistake of overdosing on lime pickle before, though, but I, I've now learned that a little bit goes a long, long way. So, about a tablespoon, okay. I would say, is awesome. all you need. Beautiful. Because you're right, you don't want to OD on it. And you can use any pickle you want with this. Yes. Think about it, it's like the sweet, sour, yeah, salty. And nice. that's what a pickle does for like a dish. It just rounds out all those flavours for you. Extra bit of flavour. And then I'll go in with a little bit of coriander as beautiful. well. Beautiful. There you go. Nice. And then that guy can get with. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Blitz it all up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. A couple of minutes on yeah. those, that side, and then this guy is done. How good do they look? Yeah, right. All right, that caramelisation, yeah. the smell. That's pushed up enough? Yeah, that looks perfect. Oh, beautiful. All right, we'll finish cooking the lamb and then you'll show us how to play it Yeah, off. then we're Love done. It. Love it. Okay, I think let's get some of that on the plate. Love it. You know, normally when you have, uh, like, meat, when you've got grilled meat, yes. you usually have a little bit of citrus. Yes. We don't need it because we've got it in the lime pickle ah, there. perfect. So nice. it just works really well for that. Just I think spread it around. Like, yeah. And then I'll just lace these guys on top. Oh, perfect. Perfect. There you go. Oh, how good do they look? Yeah, right? Oh, it's a good day in the park before kitchen, that's for sure. <laughs> perfect. Let's get some crumbs going. Yeah, a little sprinkle. Yeah, I can go over top if you want. Looks really, yeah, there nice. you go. It looks delish. I love it with the extra texture. Yeah. Put it on the side. And talking about texture, I think yep. what would be really good with mm -hmm. this, because we've got delicious sauce here, so we're going to get some mini packs like going. That. I love these. Yeah. They're, they're good for everything. <laughs> I grew up having some yeah. mini packs, but it's insane. So these are to, to sort of scoop up any excess of that yeah, sauce. exactly. Absolutely beautiful. Exactly. Delish. It's like using you know, bread to scoop up sauce in Italian, right? It's, Instead of using a puff and up. Yeah. I correct. like it. Angelie, that is amazing. Thank you. Oh, absolutely beautiful dish. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen and sharing this recipe with us. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs>